What's up everybody and welcome back to the BYB YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make cinemagraphs the easy way. We'll be looking at how to make something like this. In a few simple steps. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, for this cinemagraph, I brought my camera outside, my sister came with me, and she was my subject. I put my camera on the tripod, and as you can see, I tilted it on its side, so I was shooting vertically. I did this because I knew that I wanted to create it for uploading to Instagram, so that's what I did. I filmed it sideways, and that made it just better fit for Instagram, and I shot at 120 frames per second so that I could get that nice slow-mo effect of the snow kind of going in front of the camera and in front of my sister. So that's how I shot it. And now I'm gonna show you what I did with it in the editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Okay guys, we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Here is our finished product of the Cinemagraph. I'm gonna play it without the audio, just the video. Adding a soundtrack makes it complete in my opinion, but right now we're just gonna focus on the video aspect. So let's play that now. So there's our Cinemagraph. It's just my sister staring straight forward at the camera and the snow falling cinematically, which looks cool. All right, so we're gonna start from scratch now. So what we're gonna do is go File, New, sequence okay i have a preset already and it's for instagram video because i shot this and edited it for instagram and if you guys want to do the same i recommend doing it this way so set the frame size to 1080 by 1350 if you don't know how to do that i'm going to show you now i have a preset already but if you don't have a preset go to digital slr go to 1080p right here dlsr 1080p 24 and then go to settings, and we're gonna go here, frame size, 1080 horizontal by 1350. All right, and that gives us a four to five ratio. And what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go to our clip. We're just gonna take the whole clip, video, not the audio, just the video. And we're gonna keep existing settings and as you can see, it's sideways. So what we need to do is we need to change the orientation. So we're gonna double click on it. We're gonna click here, effect controls, rotation. 90 would look like this. 180 would look like this, but what we need is 270. 270 degree rotation, oops, 270, not 170. 270 degree rotation, now we are straight. All right, now we need to find a part of the video that we wanna take, small part where with no movement. That is the key, no movement from the subject. In, the, in this case, my sister. So let's look here. This could be good, let's start here. She moved a little bit, we don't want that. All right, this could be the part. She blinked, all right, so we don't want any blinking, so let's start right after this blink. All right, we're gonna take the razor tool, cut, Let's see, we want no movement from the subject. Oh, we got a little bit of movement there. All right, I think this should be good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna delete this, delete this, right click, ripple delete. So this is all we have. This clip right now is Five seconds, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into slow motion. We're gonna put it in slow motion. We shot at 120 frames per second. We're gonna reduce the speed to 20%, which should look nice and beautiful with this slow motion. Awesome, we have no movement. We're only gonna take 10 seconds of this video. Okay, that's what we're gonna work on today. So 10 seconds, no movement with the subject, just the snow and it looks really nice. 
And I will add that I colored my clip beforehand. This clip right now that you're looking at is not colored, but here is the color, Lumetri color uh, bar right here, and you can adjust your colors as well. For this purpose, I'm just gonna show you how to create the cinema graph. So there we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on loop. Here's the loop button right here. If you don't have it, go to your button editor and click on here with the loop button. I already have it on my button selection right here. So what that does is I'll go to the end here. It just loops it and it just plays it again after it finishes. Okay, which is just like a GIF or those, you know, animations where it just keeps playing after it finishes. All right, so now we have that part of it. And now we're gonna take our music track. We'll go to our original sequence. Let's take this, let's take this music track, paste it in here, all right? And we're gonna drag it over here. And for this one, a good rule of thumb for this is we're gonna choose this part in the song, maybe like halfway. And we're going to cut it. And then we're gonna drag it to the end, essentially swapping the position of, the, of these clips, these two clips that we have now on the audio track. Ripple delete. Now the first frame of audio and the last frame of audio match. So when you loop it, it's seamless. And this part might have a little bit of a jarring sound. So what you can do, you can add a dissolve. So we just added a dissolve and that should, that should fix it. So it sounds, doesn't sound as clean as it should. You can play around with the length of the dissolve or you can choose a different part to cut at so that it matches together better. But overall, it looks pretty good. And then as you can hear, the sound doesn't, it's not jarring at the end. When it goes from the end to the beginning, when it loops, it's seamless. So that's a tip for making these look really good, look and sound really good. So guys, besides coloring on this one, it's completely done. And this is a little bit of a shortcut to make a cinema graph. And I will explain in a second about how it's not really a cinema graph, but it appears as one. So I'm glad you guys like this one. I hope you learned something and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. That's it guys, you just made a cinemagraph, sort of. Technically, it's not a true cinemagraph because to do that, you bring it into Photoshop, you bring the video into Photoshop and you make it into a photo video combination and you use a mask effect to create it. In this way, we're taking a shortcut and we're using just video, but we're making it look like and appear that it is a cinemagraph. And I think it's pretty cool because it's something that a lot of people don't normally see on social media or on their Instagram feed or wherever you want to post your work. But I hope you guys can get creative with these and I would love to see your version of a cinemagraph, sort of. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I have more content on the way as always. Thank you, everybody. Have an awesome day.